For today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to build Google's website in just five minutes with Webflow. Let's rock and roll. Hey designer friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal, welcome back to Flux. For this video, Ismail challenged me. He said, hey, you should do a five minute Webflow tutorial. These things, these five minute things work really well on YouTube and I was like, dude, what can you actually teach? How deep can you go in five minutes? That being said, challenge accepted. So I'm gonna try and do my best to teach you something and make this video as valuable as possible. So before we dive into building Google's homepage in Webflow, and I'm gonna put a timer, I'm actually gonna take my phone and put a timer for five minutes to see that I can actually do this in five minutes. First, I wanna explain the concept that we're gonna use here, because that is really, important. I'm gonna cover most of these things, most of how I'm going to lay out this page. I'm gonna use a super powerful um, web development concept that is called a Flexbox. And let me just explain what this concept means. So Flexbox basically means the relationship between, you might know that on the web, everything is basically boxes within boxes. If you're not familiar with that concept, we have a few videos explaining it, so check them out. But assuming that you understand, the web is boxes within boxes. Flexbox basically explain or set the relationship between the parent, the outer box, and the children, which are the box that are within. Basically, they determine, hey, you know, all of you children should align to the top, or all of you children should align to the bottom, or you should be aligned to the center, or you should be stacked one on top of the other, not horizontally, but vertically, or you should align to the center. You basically understand right? Maybe you want to take up the whole space. And so when I'm going to look at, so I'm looking at the Google homepage before I'm even going to go down and start developing it. I, I want to understand basically what are the key components here. And you can see that basically we have three things here. We have this top navigation bar, then we have a middle kind of component with the main things. And then we have footers that are, is aligned to the bottom of the page. So using the concept of Flexbox, I can define that the children, we're gonna have a you know an outer box, which we usually call a wrapper, which is a box that has boxes inside. And we're going to define it as a Flexbox that says we want to uh, have all the boxes within um, equally spaced. And so one at the top, one at the middle, and one at the bottom, because that's basically the layout that we wanna have. And then the only thing that we need is to put other boxes within this boxes. This box at the top, we want it to align to the right, right? This navigation is aligned to the right. This one aligns to the center. And here basically uh, we have one, you know, part is aligned to the left and then to the right. And there's actually this one as well, but, for simplification, basically it's kind of like justified one to the left and one to the right. This is basically the structure that I'm gonna go ahead and try to build because basically that's the structure that we have here. So, ready to go, now is the time when I'm starting off my timer and I'm gonna set it for five minutes and boom, let's rock and roll. So here I am in Webflow. I don't have anything here. I'm going to basically drag in a div block. That's going to be the main wrapper. So I'm just gonna call it wrapper. And basically all I want this to be is height of 100 vertical height, meaning it's gonna be from top to bottom. That's basically all I want to do with it right now. And I'm gonna turn it into a flex box. This is the second set of display options in the layout here. And then I'm going to throw basically three div blocks inside. One, I'm gonna copy and paste two, three. First one, I'm gonna call it top, and then the second, I'm gonna call it middle. Uh, these namings are just for you to understand what I'm doing quickly. Otherwise, this one will call it bottom. Otherwise, if I would develop, I would probably give them like a top nav and content and footer or whatever. Now I'm gonna go back to my wrapper and define how I want them to stack. So I don't want them to be horizontal. I want them to be vertical, one on top of the other. And I want the justification to be this one, space between. So now you see I have one at the top, one in the center, and one at the bottom. So we already have most of the layout kind of like we wanted. So now we want our content here on the left, right? So we're gonna create another box which will wrap all of the elements. And the box here, I, I just wanna have this top navigation. I'm actually gonna do this, turn this into a flex box as well. And I'm gonna set the justification on the right so that we have here this one. Let's call this top nav 
wrapper. Um, let me see how long do I have. All right, so that's going to be here on the left. Um, and let's put some three things. So there's two, uh, two images here and then two links. Let's very quickly um, take links. So there's tech links here, one and then two, and then also going to have uh, image links, right? So it's actually just gonna take an image. And uh, for the images we have here, this is gonna be one image. Actually, I'm just gonna drag it here. Okay, so one, and this one actually is going to be this one. So, now we have all of these things here, and this one, I want them to be stacked one next to each other. I'm gonna turn this into a flex box as well. You can see everything is flex box. This one, let's call it dots, and set it to, I don't know, like 50, 50. Uh, maybe even less like 30 30. I don't know the sizing right now this one. Let's turn it. This is profile 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 I'm gonna turn that into 30 30 in terms of sizing and I'm gonna give it Radius because so it's kind of like uh, Round shape and then we have the links. Let's call this what does this say? Gmail and images. So this is gonna be Gmail and then images. And in general, I'm gonna turn the links not to blue because I want them to be kind of like blacks and I'm gonna space them out a little bit. So I'm adding spaces in between. Actually, these ones should have spaces in between as well. So now the only thing we need to give this top nav wrapper a little bit of padding and we have pretty much the top bar. Uh, we do need to take off the underline actually, but if I'm gonna go down into all of these details, I'm taking down the text decoration from here. If I'm gonna try and do this perfect, I'm not gonna hit five minutes. So let's move on into the next section, which is the middle one. In the middle one, I'm gonna add another div block because I want this to be centered, right? So I'm gonna turn this middle box into a flex box and I'm just gonna center everything, both uh, vertically and horizontally. So now we have the content here. And now I wanna bring in the Google logo. So let's bring in the Google logo. Damn, time really stresses me out. I'm not gonna be able to do this in five minutes. Ah, so I'm just gonna throw in a form and I wanna move as fast as possible need to bring a whole form here, I guess, and then just remove the things that I don't really need. And the submit actually will have to change it. Ah, I'm not gonna make it in five minutes. And also I need a few more boxes. So let's do the footer. I just wanna move as fast as possible. So this footer, first of all, let's give it a background color of light, light gray, and I'm gonna turn, put two boxes within it. Ah, five minutes are over. Okay, I have completely failed at building the Google homepage in five minutes, but I think we are maybe 55% there. But I, I, we do have, I think, the main structure in place. And hopefully with this video, you have understand some of the basic concepts, which are boxes within boxes, and then the flex box, which is how you rearrange the children inside of the bigger boxes, the wrappers, which is super, super important with this tool. You can achieve any layout that you want. Now, obviously we're limited with what we can do with five minutes, but if you're interested in diving more into Webflow and all the amazing capabilities and learning how you can do this. Actually, if you're watching this video today, Wednesday, we're exactly opening the doors today to the Webflow Masterclass, which is really in-depth, not a five minute course. Um, it's 12 hours of video and community and challenges and tons and tons of other things. So you might wanna check that out. If you're watching this later and we've already sold out the seats, we'll open up again probably next month. So make sure you join the waitlist. I'll see you on another video. Peace out.